Now, covering the Tri-State, this is 14 Sports. The college football season begins four weeks from tonight, and it's no surprise that the first preseason poll released today has five teams from the SEC ranked inside the top ten. Defending champion Alabama sits at the top of the USA Today poll, and despite the loss of quarterback Everett Golson, last year's national runner-up Notre Dame is ranked just outside of the top ten at number 11. The Fighting Irish will open up the season against Temple on August 31st. Coming off their huge win against Florida in the Sugar Bowl, Louisville gets plenty of respect from the voters as Teddy Bridgewater and the Cardinals debut at number 9. Following the Crimson Tide at the top are Ohio State, Oregon, Stanford with Johnny Manziel and Texas A&M ranked 6th. South Carolina and Clemson along with Florida finish the top 10. And their in-state rival, the Seminoles, come in at number 12. Another SEC powerhouse, LSU, falls into the 13th spot and some more Big Ten teams are near the bottom of the pole with Michigan and Nebraska ranked 17th and 18th. Northwestern and Wisconsin at 22 and 23. Oregon State, meanwhile, rounds out the top 25. During John Wall's first three seasons in the NBA, the Wizards are combined 86 games below the 500 mark. Washington hopes to turn things around as they locked up their superstar for the next five years with an $80 million contract. The former All-American out of UK knew it'd be a long road joining a team that went 26 and 56 the year before. He was drafted as the number one pick in 2010. And after signing his new extension, Wall is ready to turn the page and turn the franchise around. It's been an up, up and down road for us. And me and Mr. Taylor Johnson before, when we got drafted, he told me it was going to be tough times. And if uh, tough times don't last long, tough people do. And uh, I'm excited to be back in D.C. for another five years. So I'm excited they believed in me. Everybody else did. And um, just can't wait to get the season started and just enjoy ourselves. And with his contract, Wall said that he would donate $1 million to charities in the Washington, D.C. area. With arguably the best hitter and the best pitcher in the game, most baseball fans wouldn't be surprised if Miguel Cabrera, Justin Berlander, and the Tigers just ran away with the American League Central. But a couple of surprise teams are making life difficult for Detroit. Starting with the unstoppable Kansas City Royals battling Minnesota this afternoon, Kansas City has won eight consecutive games with, the, with help of plays like this from Lorenzo Cain in center field, holding on to Rob Trevor Plouffe of a two-run home run. In the top of the sixth now, Billy Butler drives in two with a base hit in the right, and the Royals win their ninth straight game, beating the Twins 7-2. Over in Cleveland, the Indians go for their eighth straight victory against the struggling White Sox. In the bottom of the third, the third inning, Ray, Ryan Rayburn hits a fly ball that the wind carries and carries over the right field wall, putting Cleveland up by three. Rayburn would add to that lead in the fifth inning, and the Indians win their eighth straight game closing to within two games of Detroit with a 6-1 victory over Chicago. Elsewhere in the majors, the Cardinals are trying to avoid their eighth consecutive loss tonight as they battle the Pirates at PNC Park. For Dylan Evans, I'm 14 Sports.